from Miss Rita to the rescue. And we are here for today's Joyful Fridays. This is the day that we spend some time with our favorite little machine, the Crooked Joy. And I want to thank you all for being here today. We're going to be doing something called cutaway cards. And these are cards that are um, really easy to design. And they were introduced last year. I want to show you what I put together for you this morning. Good morning. Joyful Friday. Fridays. Hi, Leslie. How's your husband doing today? Um, hi, Delia. Hi, everyone. There's Loretta. Hi, April. Oh, April's here today. Good. Hi, Shirley. Oh, happy birthday to Leslie. Happy birthday to you. Um, I, she lives in a shoe. I don't think I can sing the birthday song. I think it's uh, copyrighted. So I might get charged by someone. Anyway, um, so we're going to do uh, some fun things with this. This is called a cutaway card. It's very similar to an insert card, but rather than having the four little like tabs on the on the front of the card, it has a <clears throat> like a a what are you chewing on buddy it has a uh piece of double stick like a really big piece of like double stick tape that's on there you peel it away and then you put the piece and you get uh, obviously you get all of that in this box of cutaway cards from from our friends at Cricut so um <clears throat> There is a slight difference in the way that you're designing these. Hey, you, what are you chewing on? I'm over in my other area and he's chewing on something. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> but you get everything you need in this box. And we are going to need a Cricut card mat. And then for this design, I have put a sentiment. So you're going to need a pen and you also need this, a weeding tool of some sort. So it's pretty easy to do this. I'm going to show you how I did it on my laptop. And you can see. Oh, hi, mom. Mom's here. Hi. <laughs> mom, everybody says hi. Yep, feeding the puppies. <clears throat> feeding, feeding the piggies, not yeah, the puppies. Yeah, I just want to get out of the way. Why is it opening that one? Come on, move. Oh, nice. Move. That, that's a good idea, uh, Babs. It's a good idea, Babs. Okay. Every move. All right, move out of the way. Let, don't get in Nana's way. I'm not. I don't want to step over him. Cause I don't like know what he's chewing on. Hey, you. Stop either. chewing on that. What are you doing? Sorry, a little bit of chaos here this morning. All right, so um, the first thing that you have to do when you're doing a cutaway card is to m design one. And it's pretty simple to design. I did mine in just a few minutes, made a couple of changes, and I am doing this on the regular uh, Design Space app. So um, what I have designed is actually two pieces. So here's my sentiment and here is the image that I'm going to use. Now the thing about cutaway cards is that um, where insert cards have issues with places like inside of a letter, um, so things like right here at the E um, and in right here at the D and over here um, insert cards would normally just cut this all out. So this makes a really good image for a cutaway card because these pieces stick to the inside. As I mentioned, um, here we go. There is that piece. So let's have a look first at what comes in the box. So there's our cutaway card. Let's open it. I've already used it. I think this one is called Corsage. I don't know how you're supposed to find the name of it, but it is on, I think it's called Corsage or something like that on the website. So inside, you're going to get uh, eight cards, eight envelopes, and eight cards. I've already used a couple. And then 
these pieces of really kind of fun, glittery, I don't know what they're called, but they're like holographic shards or something. I don't know. So I, I don't know how to make these just yet, but I'm sure that you could make them. So basically what it is, is it's a card that has this piece, like a flap on the inside and you just peel it away. Uh, you can use your weeding tool to peel it away. And this is just sticky. Then we're going to take this piece. Hold on, let me change, move it to you. Um, so then you're going to place this piece with the fancy side towards it. I know it seems a little odd to do that, but that's what you do. You put this here on your card. Try to get it on there really well. And then you're ready to cut it. So let's go ahead and have a look at what I designed. So I said that I wanted to do something with Cupid because I really like this. Uh, I really love the image of Cupid and his arrows. Um, and let's see. So what I did was I went on a search for Cupid uh, images. So I went to images. And then right here, I just typed in Cupid and decided on one of many cupids that were there but i wanted one that looked kind of like the regular cupid let's see if i can't this is a brand new laptop so i'm having a little trouble with uh with learning okay so that's not the one that i used although that one was cute uh let's see i just chose one that was very very much like traditional although this one's really cute here this one uh where he's kind of sideways doing the the arrow which is kind of cute uh let's have a look and see i think this is the one that i used this is by glam svg by amelia and so i'm going to bookmark that and then i will click on here but while i was in here i thought Maybe I could um, do something like, you're cuter than Cupid. So uh, I found a really cute little thing that said cuter than Cupid that I thought would work with the image. And let's see, where is the one that I used? Where, cuter than, I think I'm gonna have to type, type in cuter than Cupid, cuter than Cupid. How you doing today, Mom? It's so cold out. Yeah, okay, I'm going to need more. More what? Food. Food? Okay. We'll order some food. All right, so here's the cuter than Cupid uh, image that I want to use. So I'm going to bring both of those into my design space. Now, I'm going to move these. These are what I have here. And oh, I'm having trouble with this mouse. I don't know. Okay, so you'll notice that also in addition to uh, the different colors, these are separate images, and how did I get them over to be one image? Super easy to do that. Let me just move around here. Okay, so we've got our Cupid, which I just love him. He's so cute. Now, don't worry about size just yet. And now I just want to... Um, to see how I can how I can use this image. So what I'm going to do is ungroup it. And I'm going to take the cuter part. Whoops, let me just move this part. I'm going to take the cuter part. I think I'll do it this way. And I I kind of like it underneath here. And again, as I said, don't worry about size just yet. And then we're going to take our Than Cupid and we're going to contour out most of it. So we'll hide all contours, and but we'll make sure that we get just the word Cupid in there. I don't want the Than. I just want um, just the word Cupid, okay? And then I'm going to put it down here. And then I think I will also put 
I'll go ahead and choose text and I'll just type then, then, not think, then. All right, and I will go up to font and I'm going to go to my recent fonts and choose telegram text. Okay, and when I come back to that, you can see there's my then. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller. Let's see, I'm gonna have to make it smaller. Working on a new machine, yikes. Just got this machine. My uh, laptop battery died. So, um, so okay, so there's my uh, cuter than Cupid. Now I know that they're all three different colors. We need to uh, make it so that they're all the same. So we're gonna grab all three. Once you are happy with the placement, I guess, kind of like this placement, I'm going to select all three. And then I'm gonna come down here to combine and choose weld. Okay, now it's all the same color, which is great. And then I'm gonna take our then, and because it's text, we're going to just connect it to there. I just think it's better that way. So what we'll do is grab all three of these pieces well, actually now it's two. And we're going to hopefully, hopefully if I can grab this. No. Rita, do we feed these to the... Um, no, the that's dog food, that's oh. dog, dog treats. Just, they, uh, they're vegetarians. Oh, okay. They only eat vegetables. Hi. Thank you for asking. She's always wanting to feed the the piggies everything. <laughs> um, they just like veggies. All right, so now that we have both of these pieces together, we're going to come down here to attach, and we'll attach that, okay? Um, now we have to figure out size. So what I would suggest that you do is that you add a shape, go to shapes, mm, go to shapes, go to shapes, there we go, shapes. <laughs> Boy, I'm really, I don't know, it must be the cold. It is supremely cold here. Uh, the wind is blowing. The dogs didn't even want to go outside. It was so cold. And uh, what, we have no shapes? Come on, shapes, we need shapes. There we go. And we're gonna get a square. Yeah, she um, she likes <laughs> she likes to give them all kinds of things. She thinks they're starving. They are so not starving. All right, so here's my square, and I'm just gonna use this as like a guide. So I'm gonna unlock this, and I'm going to change the width to four point two five and the height to five and a half. Now, why have I chosen that? Well, if you look on this box, you will see here that this size card is an R20. Um, it doesn't say on R20, but, or our usual A2 card. So there's four and a quarter by five and a half right there. So that is going to be the size of the card. So what I need to do is to using that as a guide, I need to change the size so that it's going to fit on our guide. So we're going to arrange, send it to the back. We do this kind of thing when we're making, what are you doing? Oh my God, everybody is, stop that, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Okay, come here, let it go. You're silly, you don't want that. No, I don't want you to have it. Give me it, give me it. Oh my God, give me that. Oh, okay. Guess we're not gonna get that back from the dog. You're just wrecking it. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have dogs because they just keep me laughing all day. All right, so um, let's just kind of make sure that it's gonna fit on that card. So that's what we're doing here. 
All right. And um, let's also change the colors so that they kind of match what we're doing. I'm going to change the color to gold. And then that background color, we have a choice of this green. We have a choice of petal pink and this sort of, I guess it's kind of a purpley color. So just to kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like, I'll choose like a petal pink for the background. Okay, so that's gonna look really cute and there's enough room around. It looks aesthetically pleasing. Now we need to come up with a sentiment. So um, I thought it would be kind of cute to add this sentiment. Uh, you got more game than Cupid and his arrows. See that? Happy Valentine's Day. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and hit text. And uh, again, that is telegram text. It matches the front. So you can just type whatever you want. But I love this. You got more game than Cupid and his arrows. And then we'll put happy... Valentine's Day. I know you can't see it. I can't either. And then once we do this, uh, man, I tell you, technology, right? All right. Hold on. I just want it to go smaller so I can see the whole thing. So there's my text and I need to make it smaller. And again, we'll use our little background here as a way to, to gauge that. And we might have to resize it like this. Now, when you're ready, when it's done, so here it is. And here is my uh, thing. We're not going to attach this. We're not. In fact, we're going to get rid of this little um, guide. So let's delete that. And we'll also hide our old one, okay? Um, that's our new one, but all right. Now we are, believe it or not, we're ready to go. I know that there's no card behind this, and that's the way that I want it, okay? So before I go ahead and get ready to start cutting, I need to make sure that my machine is set for joy and that the Bluetooth is enabled. So up here on my screen, you'll see joy. So that's where you change the machine. If you can get your little mouse to work that, you see? So I'm connecting it to the joy, but then I also have to go up to my Bluetooth. There's my Bluetooth right there. Okay, not sure why my sister just called. I hope it didn't cause a problem. Do you guys hear me still? Um, I hope, uh-oh. Can you guys hear me? Uh, I just wanna make sure, yes, you can. Okay, my sister just called me on my phone. Is it like everything is, is a problem today? Okay, so here you go. This is my Bluetooth. Um, and I'm going to connect it right here with Bluetooth on my, uh, on my laptop. Okay. Let's go back to Cricut. So now we've got our machine saved. Uh, we're going to save it just to save it again. All right. Okay. I'm so glad that you can hear me. And then I'm going to hit make it. So when I hit make it, there's something you need to do here, okay? You need to change the material load type to on the card mat on both of these. Let's come and do that with both of them. And let me come back up here to the sentiment. So the sentiment, we've got to change the material size to four and a quarter by five and a half because it's not selected for us. So we'll just move the sentiment up there. Now this one is already set, I think because of the size of the image, but it is gonna be four and a quarter and five and a half. So now I'm actually ready to go ahead and cut this out. 
And let's see. It says, please, con please connect. Hmm. Um, but it's already connected. So I'm going to choose browse all materials. And I'm going to choose cutaway cards and the backer. Okay. Um, and in this time, you know how I normally choose more pressure? What I found out with cutaway cards is the, the regular amount of pressure is better. Otherwise, it cuts through way too thick, way too much, okay? So I have these two different, um, they're actually going to be the same card, but I need to do them as if they were separate. And now I've got my card mat. Let's open my card mat. It's a brand new one. This one here works too, but we'll open a brand new one. So this is as if you just got your joy and you're like, how do I make a cutaway card? So you're going to open up this. Okay. And we're going to take off this part, recycle and throw away that. And you'll notice that there is a protective sheet. Keep that because it does really actually help. Now we're going to look at what we got for cards. So there's my example one. Let's choose. I did already do one. I put one together like this, but uh, we just did that, right? Yeah. And then I cut this one as well. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to take a card, as I showed you before. You're going to take a card, and you're going to take a piece of the um, insert paper. You're going to open this up. Now, I like to fold it the other way because we're going to use the inside of this card, okay? And then we're going to remove this piece. Be careful here because sometimes you have to really struggle. You don't want to pull up where the the sticky part isn't isn't right. You know, like is it's not like peeling off right. I found that like in some of the corners it doesn't seem to work too well. I don't know if that makes any sense. All right. So then I'm going to take and put this piece with the fancy side facing the inside of the card, just like this, okay? And we're gonna do the outside of the card first. So let's go ahead and put it through. See this flap? We're gonna put it through and then we're gonna um, press it down. You can use a brayer if you want, I don't, but um, you can use a brayer because you do want it to stick nice. Uh, nicely on that mat and then we're going to put it into the machine like that and I just want to bring this here so you can kind of see what I'm doing here so you see here I'm doing this part of the card the front of the card and I chose cutaway card and backer and I kept it at regular pressure. And now all I have to do is hit go. And I'm going to do that. Go. Now it will start to cut the outside of the front part of the card. And when it is ready. Oops. Wait a second. I just messed up. I messed up. I messed up. How do I stop it? Ah, Cancel. Cancel. You want to cancel? Yeah, I want to cancel. <laughs> I forgot that I put that van on the front. And so I'm going to have to put my pen in there. Hi, Roberta. How are you, honey? All right. So now I can do this again. I'm going to hit continue. I was so nervous about, all right, come on. I connected my joy. You got to take it. Ay, ay, ay. I am not doing well today. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna remember the material settings. Now we can go ahead and put this in. Come on now. Okay, I'm not the I'm not the only one. All right, let's see. We can do this. Come on, come on. You know you want to. I don't know why it is doing this, but oh well. 
we try, we try, let's do cancel again. So I guess the thing that you can learn from me is persistence. Persistence is the most important thing in life, I think. So um, be ever persistent in your goals and trying to get what you want. And here, let's see, we go like this. All right, it's going now. Step it back and restart it, that's right. All right, and so I have the pen in because it's going to always do the writing, then the cutting, remember? Always, always, always. Um, and so we are going to hit go on the laptop and it will start with the writing. Then it will stop and tell me um, to put in the blade and the housing. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna move it over here so you can see what it's doing. It's typing than or writing than than. I've always admired or just kind of been in just engaged in how uh, the writing works on a machine. So here we go, we take that out and you can't see my screen, but it says to load the blade, which is what I'm doing. Just close it up and then I'm gonna hit go on my screen because remember there are no buttons on this machine. And so you have to use whatever, your iPad, you can use your phone, you can use your tablet, I don't know which tablets work, by the way, <laughs> but um, or you can cer certainly use a laptop or a desktop to do this. I've actually contemplated using this with my desktop and um, I just don't have enough room over there where my desktop is. So that's why I've never done it. But I kind of like using this laptop. It's slightly different than using the iPad. And so I wanted to show you how to do it with that. OK. Now I do have the Joy app, yes, but the um, the Joy app I use with the iPad. Not sure that you can use the Joy app with a laptop. Do you know, April? So um, it's almost done. Look at how cool this is. So cool. And I've actually done this to another one. So we're gonna um, take it out now that it's done. So let's unload. And then I'm going to, before I do anything here, I'm just gonna remove it from the mat. I'm gonna turn it inside out. And we're gonna place it into the mat. So we're going to be facing the front, you know? And remember for this part, even though we have to choose a, um, we have to choose a base material, it's just going to be the sentiment. So we're gonna put the pin in this time. There's no cutting that happens on the inside. All right. And then let's hit go. Now, while it's writing my sentiment, I'm gonna move it over a little bit and show you how to get this card ready. So again, as I mentioned, this is um, this is from this grouping of cards, cutaway cards. I think it's called Corsage. And there's eight cards in here. You get eight cards, eight inserts, and also eight envelopes. The inserts are put on through the sticky back here. And then once you do your cutting, you're going to then carefully remove the cutouts. Now, I you have to be careful about this because the first couple times I tried this did not work um, very well. And mm, now, now I'm wondering, did I... I, when I first did this, I did it on my regular machine, my, my maker, but, um, and I use the two by two card mat. So if you don't, if you don't have a joy and you want to do this cutaway card type of thing, if you have the two by two mat, you can certainly, uh, do it. Okay. So here I am 
removing this and you see I'm having some trouble here, but be careful not to dig into your, um, not to dig into your gold cardstock here because it will scratch. And I will show you here, it scratched right there. You can't barely see it, but I just want to point out to you that you can indeed make a mistake on these. They're not foolproof. And I'm thinking maybe I should have put more pressure with this, with this, but I'm going to just deal with it like this. I don't like that it didn't cut all the way through, but when I added more pressure on my maker, it was way too much pressure. So see that? Um, and then we'll keep removing. I can't believe how much hair I have on my sweater. I apologize, you guys. But um, I didn't, like, want to even get out of bed this morning. It was, it was like, so cold. Um, and if you're a, a woman of a certain age, um, you might not might relate to this I sleep with my fan on because at night with um, all the medication that I take I, I tend to get hot so I sleep with my fan on except for last night it was so cold I was like now nah, I gotta turn this fan off or else I'm gonna catch my death um, it was that cold so so we're continuing to remove this but I don't like the way this is coming out so we might have to try it again using more pressure, but it's all sort of a, it's all sort of a, you know, a trial run. And I think these are rather expensive, but if you did happen to get them, they are on sale this time, uh, or I don't know if it's still going on. It was like a 48 hour sale that was going on. Um, yeah, when it's real cold, you know, it's up here anyway. It's it's really cold. It's windy. It's going to be negative eight degrees. And in fact, Owen didn't even go to school today because he was like, Mom, it's way too cold. Um, and I was like, yeah, okay, I, I get it. And then I, I texted his teacher and his teacher said, it's too cold for me too. I'm not even going to go in. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Never had that kind of response from a teacher. Now, in this case that I'm having a little bit of trouble, I think what I will do is use my true control knife. I hope you can see it. Um, yeah, they are super expensive, Jamie, don't you think? But um, I saw one pack was $19. Um, for an eight pack and I thought that seems rather weird but look here's the inside of our card let's go ahead and remove it where's my little safety thing I'll put that on there and let's see if this one this actually feels a little thicker than the pink so let's try the pink and see if that worked better feels like less of a weeding, but more like a picking to get it started, if that makes any sense. And now I probably, because on the joy, I probably need to add a little bit more pressure, I'm finding. But, um, but you know, it will be kind of one of those, your mileage may vary. Remember, we used to say that back in the day when, uh, whoops when people would say, how do I do this? And you'd say, well, this is what I did, but your mileage may vary. I know I'm old, I'm old. I'm trying to get used to the fact that I'm old. All right, um, so this is how you do it. I will continue persevering here because that's just my nature. And this one is actually working a little bit better than the green one, so. Um, yeah, hmm. So, if you're going to do it on your, um, if you're going to do this on your joy, you may consider either making sure that you change out your blade or, because it's possible that my blade is a little dull, 
um, have been using my joy more, but I think mostly we could probably get around it by changing the pressure. So let's try to do it again, okay? We'll just do the outside of it and we'll add more pressure this time. So here is my card. Did you notice, did you guys notice on the image for uh, for today, it says Crafting Adventures with Miss Rita and Friends. That's you. That's you guys. You're my Aunt Friends. And uh, so I changed it up. It's not, uh, it's not Cricket Chat anymore. It's Crafting Adventures. So I think that best describes our, our little forays because... We do try things out. We're never afraid to try things out at least once, sometimes twice, most of the time twice. So let's go ahead and do this one again. I'm going to choose my material again. I'm going to choose cutter, cutaway card and backer. And I am going to add more pressure. And I'm going to save my material setting. And then remember, we're going to put our pen in first. Here we go. Okay. Hi, Diana. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay. So I'm going to hit go on this. It's going to do the then, and then I'm going to put in, um, I love the new title, don't you? I love it. Yeah, I'm going to put this in. Because it takes into account you guys, which I really love. And I think expanding it to being crafting adventures means that we can add things to our repertoire instead of just always doing cricket stuff. Because, you know, it's, um, it's time to broaden our horizons a little bit. Now, if you still want to do cricket stuff, I'm still going to do it. Um, but I just don't. Uh, I don't want to limit myself and, and I don't want to limit you guys because I know you want to learn new things. So we will continue to try different things. I wanted to show you as we're waiting here. Um, I've got so many stamps. I cannot wait until I get started with my stamps. Look at all these stamps. I got them last week, but then I found more Look at these fun stamps that I got. I got a lot of sentiments because I think that that would be good for card making. Um, and I'm not super good at, but I will show you this. Look at this. This is from Lawn Fawn. And um, they're out of, I think, California. But look at how cute this stuff is. It says, handmade with love from the kitchen of, from the craft room of, or I made this card for you. I just love their stamps, Lawn Fawn, but they are kind of expensive. So um, if this weekend you're doing some cleaning out, look for stamps that you might have already. And we're going to be working on some stamping. I hope for next week we're going to do some stamping and also some embossing. This is wet embossing. So if you know what that is or you don't know what that is, you're going to use something called embossing powder. And that's what this is. And um, then we'll also use this. This is uh, called a heat gun. This one is a is a Michaels brand from Recollections, and um, it heats the powder until it uh, melts. So cute. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but it's pretty amazing. So here we go. This is the one that was cut on more pressure. Let's see. Fingers crossed if that's going to do it for us. Oh, I can already tell. Although, look, it's still kind of... Mm, it seemed better. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, it this is coming out nicely. Very nice. Look at our cute Cupid. And then we'll just go and try to do the letters. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't know where she got those dog treats because um, they're just treats for dogs, but she finds things and she's just funny. She's a funny woman, my mom. All right. It's working better with more. So if you're going to try this Loretta, as I know Loretta said, oh, noted, depending on which machine you use. So this I use the Joy, obviously, and the Joy card mat. But the original one I did on my uh, Maker, and I used the 2x2 two two mat because I wanted to make sure that it was the kind of thing that would transfer over, and it absolutely does. Um, but you do need to be careful of the amount of pressure. So this one is best. Oh, so Cheryl's saying if I use a he hair dryer or heat gun, it will loosen the glue. Interesting. Joy gets more pressure noted. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, you can. Uh, people have been stamping for a very long time. That's a good point, Sandy. Um, and I don't want to go down another rabbit hole for you guys, but stamping is, um, so much fun and you can combine it with your Cricut, uh, crafts, which is so cool. So I want to try to, to, to come up with some, you know, hybrid, hybrid projects that you can use Cricut and stamping uh, because I, I feel like I can't just give up my Cricut but I just dying to do some stamping. I used to do stamping a lot way back in the 90s. What's going on here? This is yucky. I don't like this. Mm. This part is not joyful for me. Ugh, there we go. That is very strong adhesive. Okay, so we're gonna get this done. But look, so this is without the extra pressure. See right here, and I've had to really dig in and mm, dig in and peel this off. But, it, and it's sort of it sort of doesn't look so great. And this is with more pressure. And this is with uh, doing it on the two by two mat with the maker. So if you are gonna do this for your joy, make sure that your your um, needle or your blade is, is really super sharp or choose more pressure. And if you don't know what I mean by more pressure, let me just show you over here. Um, and here you go. Base material. See here it says pressure more. So that way that's going to work. Now, I just want to go back and I know we're still doing joyful. Um, and, and maybe you, we could do the image that we had, uh, for the community create challenge, but I wanted to show you if you're getting ready to do the community create challenge and you have this weekend, um, still yet to do that, you're going to to want to save your image. So look here, I've saved it as cuter than Cupid cutaway card. So when I click on the name, I can go ahead and edit my project details right here. Um, and let's go down here so we can see. I don't know why it's not. Mm -mm -mm. Again, <laughs> I'm sort of new to this laptop and it's not working as well as I want it to. So, hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. So I put in here the name and then I put the sentiment. You've got more game than Cupid and his arrows. And then I wrote here, you can use Cricut cutaway cards on the Joy or the card mat or use two by two mats. Okay, and then I added a picture, and then once I have done that, so I would save it, I added my tags, and then I would make it public right here. You see here? Make it public, like that. And then when you hit it, make it public, you should get confetti. I know I like the confetti. I just need that kind of encouragement, I think, in my day. And then it's shared into the Cricut community. Now, if you have not 
seen the Cricut community yet. Let me just bring you over here so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, I gotta move this. This is in my way. Get out of my way. Um, so I'm gonna go up here, right here, and I am going to go to this hamburger icon and I'm going to choose home. Okay, and then when you're at the home page, if you click or scroll down, you will see here, this is the Community Create Challenge, okay? So this is the image. It's free to everyone. I'm not really sure. Um, so I saw somebody having a problem with the image, but it, it is free to everyone for this challenge. And um, when you go ahead and make something, and as long as you tagging it correctly, look, it will come up here. And there's our friend Nancy Kuliga. Um, who did this, which is really beautiful. So let's have a look at that. So she made a mug with the love on it, and she used that uh, black watch. No, it's not black watch. But it's called, what's it called? Black, what kind of plaid is that? Lumberjack plaid? I'm not really sure. Um, and... Yeah, and so anyway, she did it, and look, she put her Community Create Challenge Love Mug, and I want to make sure, Nancy, that I think you did it correctly. Let's go and look for Nancy. Oh, there's Nancy behind a fence with the flamingo, and look at all of her shared projects. Aren't they cute? Um, and I love that mug. So cute. I hope that you win. Remember to post it in the Facebook group as well, and you'll have another opportunity to win. So if you're not on Facebook and you're not in any of the groups, you can you can join Facebook and join one of the groups um, so that you'll have an extra chance of winning. Everybody, though, if they have created their their project and they have um, they have tagged it correctly, then they would be part of the drawing out of everybody that used the community create challenge uh, flat uh, tag. Okay. All right. I think that might be everything for today. Um, has anyone had trouble with their mugs fading? Wow, well, no, I have not. Buffalo check. Thank you so much. Buffalo check, Gail. Um, and, oh, no dishwasher for... Okay, so Crafting with April, our friend April, um, is saying do not put your mugs, even if you are, um, oh yeah, cutie alert, sorry. Um, so do not put yours in the dishwasher. The heat element causes it to fade is what our friend April is saying, okay? And let us go ahead and pick a winner for, I'm gonna choose a winner for the Cricut Cutie I'm going to choose from whoever's on today. And I'm going to choose, uh, let's see. How about Deborah Mackey? Have you won before, Deborah? Oh, as long as you don't use the heated dry cycle. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Jamie. Deborah Mackey, have you won a cutie yet? If you have not, Deborah Mackey, um, then you are the winner. Hi, Penny! Um, I use the heated. I don't use the heated dry cycle, but they all faded. Oh, okay. We're learning. We're learning. Okay. You won a couple weeks ago, and I haven't sent it out to you, right? <laughs> All right, who, let's do it this way. Who among us has not won a Cricut Cutie from me and um, that are that's listening today? Let's do that because I continue to be um, delinquent on my giveaways. You haven't, Rocky. Um, Barbara hasn't. Joyce 
choice. Deborah Mackey won. Okay, Jane. Love the card. I have. Wow, we've got a lot of people that have won. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I won one, but I haven't received it yet. Yeah, I know. I know. It. Um, wow, so many people. All right, let me choose. Let me choose. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna take my finger and point at something on the on there, okay? Um, I am going to choose Barbara Williamson. Barbara Williamson, you are the winner this week. I'm sorry for the other people that haven't won. Um, I'm going to get, I promise you, I'm going to get better at this. And uh, and also, we're, I'm going to get updated on my giveaways because then I can send you these lovely cards as well. Um, so who would like to win one of these cards? Loretta, maybe choose from people who have said they haven't won lately. Um, I've got one, two, three, four cards. So do you want to pick four winners of those? And I will um, get these out to you. I promise I am working towards it. Santo's off today. And so he's working with me on cleaning up this area and getting organized and I got my new laptop and I'm going to get these out to you. I promise. I promise. It's not, it's just me, you know, just getting, trying to get updated. All right. Um, you'd love to win a card. Okay. So, so Loretta, do you mind picking a couple of cards? And so if you are a winner, what you're going to do is you're going to send me an email at Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. And you're going to tell me what you won and also your address. Um, and so there you go. Yay. Okay. So, so Loretta does something where she chooses people based on words so that they say, I don't, I don't get into fear because Loretta is the boss and she picks those winners. But um, let's see what's on tap for next week. Uh, we are going to be doing another giveaway. I am going to be doing a couple of more giveaways before, um, before my, uh, I don't know what you call it before my my agreement with Cricut ends. So we will do a February giveaway and possibly a March giveaway, and we will continue to do that Cricut uh, Maker Three bundle. That's everything with the learning plan. So if you want to win, I will set it up over the weekend and we'll run it for a couple of weeks, and we'll still still do that. Okay. <laughs> Rent to <a> Santo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. You guys, if you could just see all of the stuff that I have accumulated over this last year, and then I'm starting now to put them all together. So, like, for instance, all my inks I'm putting together. And actually, I found these really great. Let me show you. I found these really great. Look at these little um, ink holders for the Distress ink. So I'm getting all organized and stuff, but I just, uh, I, my email doesn't seem to work too well. All right. Today's card winners are Gail Dunn, Joyce Burden, Selma Farringer, and Delia Toro. And you will get your cards, I promise. And um, and then the winner of the now see I can't even remember what the winner the winner was Barbara Williamson. Yes, I do remember. And Barbara Williamson. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, don't forget to send me those emails, okay? I will get to them. I haven't deleted them or anything like that. I just have to get to them. So that's going to do it for me for this week and for today. Um, and let's see, what do we got coming up next week? Well, next week I'm going to be introducing a few more like off the mat kind of 
ideas. So that's always fun. And then we'll also do some Cricut uh, related stuff as well. Thank you. I'm so glad you could make it April. And I'm so glad that you all could make it today. Stay warm, especially if you're in the in the Northeast. We're getting really cold here. So stay warm. Make yourself some hot cocoa and do some crafting. Always craft. It's so good for your soul, isn't it? Um, yes, you definitely need a craft area. Definitely, Jennifer. I like basically my entire front of my house is my craft area. And when I started like to seep into the other areas, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's just me here. And it was Owen. And like, he didn't really care. But now I got my mom and, and then people coming and going. And so it's a little bit hard. So um, I will, I will get a rest, Ardeen. Thank you guys for worrying about me. Oh, I did find out from the doctor that what it was is that the injection indeed um, hit a nerve in my uh, muscle. And I guess that happened. And she said, just take a lot of painkillers <laughs> and uh, rest and do heat. And so I've been doing heat and that's really been working for me. Uh, I'm still not steady on my feet, but I'm better than I was. And I'm hoping that it just continues to get better as time goes on. Yeah, it was a bruised nerve or something. So, so which made me feel okay. But then she said in the letter, she said uh, in the message, well, you're going to have your scans next week. And by the way, uh, Loretta um, knows now what the scans were. I think they're on the 8th. I don't know. Um. We are minus 12 and snowing in Michigan. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So so she said, well, you'll have your scan. So hopefully it's not something else. And I was like, oh, man, I hope it's not something else. I mean, seriously, I thought it, it happened just a couple of days after the injection. And it was very specific to where the injection was. So I'm hoping that it's just, yeah, like an irritated nerve. And she said it will work out within a month. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's already been two weeks and I'm still having trouble, but whatever. February 8th is my scan day. So I could use all of your, all of your positive, um, you know, positive vibes or prayers or whatever so that on February 8th they find that the cancer has shrunk um and it is on my bones it's in my bones it's really on my bones in the uh like my lower like pelvic bone the one that looks like a butterfly that one I don't know what that's called iliac or whatever February 9th is my scans yes thank you so, um, I got it. Thank you so much. All right, you can see me in the reflection here. Hello. All right, everybody. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you again on Monday. Thank you for the prayers. I so appreciate them. I really do, and I do believe in the power of prayer, and um, and hopefully prayer as, like, as a an adjunct to, um, to working. Oh, okay. I know you have to go out and adjunct working to the team of medical providers as well. So hopefully if not, well, we just regroup and try to come up with a better plan. So thank you all, everyone. I love you too, Cheryl. And, um, thank you so much for the prayers and you have lovely weekend. I'll be around and um so yeah i don't know what date it is but um loretta knows i don't know what date it is i think it's thursday i think it's thursday i don't know today's friday i'm saying but i don't know what day my scans are what days are they i don't even know i love you guys thank you babs i i appreciate it Let's watch your videos on YouTube. You're so kind, Loretta. So, um, so thank you, everyone. I love you guys, and we will see you. So, I don't know. I think it's Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. So, there will be no class on Thursday, February 9th.
no class on Thursday, February 9th. Um, and then we'll have class Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then I'll be back on Friday. Okay, everybody? Um, and we will see you again on Monday. Love you. Keep crafting, everybody. It's good for you. Okay? I'm out of here. Take care. Bye-bye.